Labbaik ya Hussein. With this, I would like to invite our next uh, speaker, a respected scholar, Sheikh Ibrahim Hussein. He was born in Blackburn, UK, began learning traditional Islamic sciences uh, since his age of 10 and half is at 15. He has a master's degree in Arabic and theology, has served an imam and a religious director for various UK and GTA since 2011 at, at various organizations. Also, he is an advocate for inter-religious dialogue and Islamic unity. Without any further ado, we would like to invite Sheikh Ibrahim Hussain. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. My respected brothers and sisters, respected scholars, and the organizers and participants of this blessed event. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. What brings us all here today, my brothers and sisters, is that spark of haq and justice, compassion, and love for the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and concern for humanity the spark that Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam ignited within us. And it is for that reason that even after 1400 years, we come together to reflect and remember the great sacrifices of the Ahlul Bayt. And in, in particular, the great lessons that Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam, who as we know, was the final member of the Ahlul Kisa, who was brutally martyred. But he gave all those sacrifices and he shed all that blood and he did everything to teach us that at the end of the day we are going to go through life's tests and trials and tribulations and we must ensure that throughout our lives that we can model that esteemed and that excellent behavior that was that was present in the life of Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam. You know, there are many aspects from when, from, uh, there are many aspects with regards to how we can derive lessons from the great seerah, from the great life of Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam. But today in particular, in the very few moments, you know, a few five, six, seven minutes, I want to talk about the generosity and kindness of Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam. During his life at a young age, Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam, he used to help and give so much away to people to the extent that he used to say that I, I prefer to help and aid someone in need over spending 30 days in Etikaf. This, this was the way of Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam. He was always giving and contributing and he had this concern to protect and, and to help his fellow brothers and sisters in his faith and, and in the creation. And this is the spirit that we need amidst this pandemic right now. And we see, we see that it's through the inspiration of Imam Hussain alayhi salatu wasalam that our brothers and sisters who are working on the front lines, it's because of what we have learned from the example of Imam Hussain alayhi salatu wasalam that we have this passion and we have this inspiration to help all members of society. And that's why we have our brothers and sisters who are working in, on the front lines in the hospitals. Our brothers and sisters, physicians, you know, pharmacists, you know, people working in all the sectors who are there, who are trying to help us and help all of society to get out of this pandemic. My brothers and sisters, in life, we are all facing certain trials. We will face certain trials. When you look at Karbala, you look at Sham, and when we look throughout history, and we examine and analyze the character of the Ahlul Bayt alayhi salatu wasalam, there is a reason why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam said, I am leaving behind for you two things, that if you hold on to them, you will never be misguided, the Quran and my family. The reason why our Prophet, peace be upon him and his family, the reason why he gave us this important message, this wasiyah, this important message, the reason why Allah in the Quran revealed the verse of Mawadda, 
was so that at the end of the day, my brothers and sisters, we have a theoretical Quran. The Quran is telling us time and time again, do this, don't do this. Act like this, have good character, be compassionate, forgive, argue with people, reason with people. Wajadilhum billati hiya ahsan, the Quran says. Allah addresses the Prophet and He says, reason, and even when you argue with people, argue in the best of manners. My brothers and sisters, the Holy Quran is there. The way of the Prophet, peace be upon him and his family, is there. People are arguing about it. It's present. We have it in the books. But if you and if we and if the whole of the creation wants to see Islam in action, if the whole of the creation wants to see the Quran in action, if the whole of the creation, if we Muslims and those of us who are all members of society, if we want to see the way of the Holy Prophet, the way of Islam in action, then we have to look at the example of the Ahlul Bayt. Because it's the Ahlul Bayt alayhim salatu wasalam, it's Imam al Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam, Sayyidah Zainab salam allahi alayha, all the Imams of the Ahlul Bayt. It is those great esteemed leaders who have walked the walk, my brothers and sisters. And when we look at their example, we see kindness, we see compassion, we see love, we see justice, we see concern for humanity. This is why we are here, my brothers and sisters. We are here today with this pledge and with this inspiration that from today, through the barakah of Imam Hussein Ali wasalam, through his nisbah, through the connection of the Ahlul Bayt, we aspire to become better human beings every single day of our lives, better Muslims and better leaders. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always keep us connected to the Ahlul Bayt alayhi salatu wasalam in this life and in the next life. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to follow the great footsteps of our leaders, the Ahlul Bayt alayhi salatu wasalam. Wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil